It's bloody impressive, isn't it? It's freaking impressive. Very glamping. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is the big reveal, guys. Everyone on Instagram already knows this. Train canopy set up. It's all here. It's all on. Installed. And it's good. So we're going to run through it today. Max just admiring the craftsmanship. It's a bit going on, eh? <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> It's on there. It's it on. is on. It ain't yeah. coming on. <laughs> nah. Okay, Max has brought this up. Why tray and canopy? The best way to answer that is I've done some long trips now to the tub and the Pathfinder, just very basic setups. And the, yeah, they're under equipped. I mean, it's possible, but this setup is insane. Like, you can't even compare it. It's just, it's all ready to go. We're going to go through it now. Oh, yeah. Come oh, over here. Yeah, yeah. Jerry, hold up. <laughs> Put your diesel in there. Actually, I'll, I'll oh, save a part. You, you point to it. Tie down rails. That one. Yeah. Wheel guards. There. Water tank. There. Yeah. Here it is. It comes Water. out there. Nice. Gravity fed. Gravity fed. Toolboxes. Oh, there. There it is. <laughs> there and one on the other side. <laughs> it's like where the wallet is. Yeah. Right. Rear drawer and table. I'll give you a hint. It's not at the front. <laughs> <laughs> is it at the rear? <laughs> Reverse camera parking sensors. Yeah. I don't yeah, have parking yeah. sensors, but they would go there. Yeah, they would go there. Oh, you haven't put your camera on. I have. You have? Oh, there it is. Yeah. Ah, there you go. Here's a hard one. Ladder. <laughs> <laughs> yes, correct. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, ladder, tyre, car, carrier and jerry holder are on the back here. Tower lights. Oh shit! No, but they? really, what I've been I've been <laughs> I've been listing off all the components that have something in common. Bolts together. Yeah, it bolts on. Bolts on. Yes. <laughs> oh, is it? It's all like modular. Yeah. Oh right. So what I was trying to get Mac to figure out, but he didn't get there. You can is buy it in bits. If you rack any of these parts, you can literally order it, and it turns up in the mail, and you bolt it back on. Uh, that seems pretty cool to me. Like if something breaks because it probably might break something the way <laughs> the things we do. One thing I should mention is that I've come on as an affiliate with Mitz Alloy and this is a sponsored product so obviously they've helped out majorly with the costs behind all of this. Yeah, I'm just, I'm super grateful and lucky. That, Bloody top bloke, so it's Mitz Alloy. Yeah, they've gone above and beyond. And Red Arc's done the electrical fit out. I'm gonna run that in later on the video because Sam sort of explains it much better than I can, so. I like this. Australian made, mate. Oh, Aussie made. Support Aussie businesses, boys <laughs> and girls. So that is something I like. Mitz Alloy, they're an Australian business. They're based down in Newcastle, but you can order this sort of setup, every single part of it online, and it all can be shipped for an install, ready to go straight on. So that's what they did for you. Yeah, that's what they did for me. This whole package turned up on a crate like this and got plonked on at Pinnacle 4x4. I might run you through some of that footage now. The boys down at Pinnacle sent me through some footage so see the process of it getting put on. I actually took the tub off with Jamin in my front yard because a friend of mine wanted it. He didn't want it. <laughs> he wanted it and then he's like, actually, nah, it's pretty, it's pretty it's scratched. Best. It's pretty hammered. <laughs> I'm like, oh, thanks. <laughs> Your microwave on that. Yeah. yeah. Or your ice maker for your esky. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 1765 long. Oh, right. Five. <laughs> well, that's got to be about 15. You're way wrong on that one. 
No, it's long. Oof. 1800. 1800. All right, so tray is 1765 long and 1800 wide. Canopy is 1500 long. It's got racks. It's got racks, yeah. That's another thing come with it, the rack on top, which the tent's folded to. I'll get to the drifter set up in another video because I wanted to do a bit of a review on the tent. It's pretty cool, it works real well. So. Whether you're in, you've been in the market and you've seen what this sort of setup is valued at, or if you've got no idea, I don't know whether these prices are gonna shock you or you'll think, oh, it's okay. So we'll go through the price of the tray, which is Maca. For the 1765 millimeter long tray, you get flared mud guts, under tray toolboxes, <laughs> rear under tray drawer, plus lid, 30 liter headboard water tank, Reverse camera relocation, reverse sensor relocation, full tray powder coating in ebony black for $11,799. We'll get to the canopy. Now the canopy, it's got a lot on it. So let's list what it includes first. So it's got the rubber dampened Evo 2 mounts. It's the 1500mm canopy. Mitt struts, uni strut internal frame, roof rack, nut, runner channel, two flush doors, flush canopy floor. The rubber mount of this whole thing is probably the best idea because you don't shake your canopy apart. Yeah, that's a new thing on this Evo 2, I think. Yeah, it's their new mounting system. <laughs> no, sorry, page two. Page two. <laughs> um, there, okay, that's why it stopped with lift. <laughs> lift off leg points. <laughs> oh, yeah. Man. Yeah. Uh, dust and watertight automotive seal, headboard, electrical mounting panel, uh, rubber floor, options selected, spare wheel carrier, jerry can holder, fold down ladder, canopy length roof rack, and all powder coated in ebony black. Price? That was the 12,700. Yeah. And then there's... Then I've got extras. So this drawer and table, fridge slide. Internal layout, the Mitz Weekender, I'm assuming is we this. Yeah, the Weekender, I think is just a divider. Drawer and table. And that's 1,300. So they're, they're my extras. But they're, that's like... They're really good. That's like, well worth it. I mean, it. You, that, everyone will get a drawer anyway. That whole setup's easy worth 1300 yeah. There's a lot of work in that. We basically took it for its first test run at Nathan's property last weekend. So I've actually camped in it already. Yeah, a couple, a of, couple of tins, you might be able to tell in the footage. But yeah, <laughs> Sam had never seen it, so it was his, his first kind of look at it. And yeah, we kind of run through the electrical system, so I run that now. In your face like man dart. It's on boys. It's bloody on and doesn't look fabulous. <laughs> I don't know, there's a bit going on here though. Don't need that. Yeah. Don't need that. That's all we can do. Don't need, yeah, it makes it, it makes it look bad. <laughs> oh, right. There we go. Oh nice. This big red arc thing. It's a bit flash, it makes me want to Go over here. Alright, cut me off then. Fuck I'll run the show. No. You found the esky slide. We've got the esky slide. <laughs> Oh, that's wild. How good is that? Plug it? No, 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 no. You don't plug it. <laughs> oh, shit. That's magnetic. <laughs> so my plan is I'm going to plug my ice maker into the red arc system <laughs> and then we'll throw the ice in the esky, yeah? Well, then it's perfect. Well, yeah. You get a fridge. Yeah, we got the inverter. You no, you're doing it wrong. No. <laughs> ice, ice maker. got an esky slide. I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> that's the table that goes on to the back of this. Oh, stop it. But there's no. that so many got a table, table there. there. There's there's a table there. <laughs> table. Table. table, storage, table, hold on. Oh, if you're worried about length, how long <laughs> that thing is. Look how long it is. Check out how long it is. Oh, crazy. Ooh. So yeah, you can so new, I haven't even peeled the bloody... Oh, that's fresh. Plus. What are you doing to me, yeah, Sailors? Sorry, did you want to peel it? Nah, you do it, you do it. It's like a new oh. iPhone. Like... <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> this is a jerry holder, but I'm using it as a bin. I do. I thought it was your cast wine. <laughs> your goon sack. The ladder opens. What's this, I'm, man? I'm why, is all, why is all your shit here? That was you. Oh, okay. <laughs> so should we go through it, Sam? You, I've got to get oh, Sam. Real detail. Okay. So if you look over here, oh, you got black paint. In here, you've got silver. <laughs> no, isn't this powder coat? This yeah, would be powder coat. So we've got toolboxes both sides. They're a meter long. Thanks, impressive. And a wacker compressor in this one. 
So, these holes here, what is that? Four uh, bolts. To jack off <laughs> yeah, these... You can fit in there. <laughs> what? Doesn't even touch the sides. <laughs> So this is a jack off point, you can jack the whole canopy off. I can stop jacking things off. I jack it off every weekend. <laughs> I jack it off at the beach. <laughs> so we got a jack off canopy, toolboxes here, drawer in the back, ladder, tire holder, jerry holder. Well that's that's the storage side. And the idea being in Australia, driving on the left hand side of the road, you want to pull over for some lunch. This is the kitchen side. This is where your awning will be, all that. So you're off the road. But you can do a multitude like that. They've got a lot of different, on the website, you'll see there's a lot of different combinations. Weekender. It's almost unlimited what Day you can weaker. do. Full tradie, obviously, will have shelves and whatever. And then it's got a water tank here. You're not the only one, mate. Hey, hey but there's a pressure. Oh, well, I've got a shower yet. I actually you don't really, I don't think it's pressurized. Have you ever put, is there water in there? No, it's empty. Gravity fed? No, that's gravity fed, and gravity fed is good. So I'm, I prefer gravity fed what? because it comes out. Shower gravity it comes fed. out. No, but for just water. Should I bring the Range Rover? Yeah. <laughs> so we got a roof rack up here, which we've put the tent on. I'm going to do a whole other thing on this because drifters have been legends. Over. We'll get to that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's talk about electrical because Sam's kind of like you're almost like a rep. You understand it. You, I'm you the Red Ark representative. It's the same system I've got. That's how I know it. <laughs> Your name's Sam Red Ark Isles. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Let me show you. So Red Vision, right. we got this. So there's a screen. So this is essentially the... Oh, no, well, I need that on. light. What are you... Oh, we're, we're on, on. <laughs> we're on, we're on. He's gone the full Red Vision system, which is basically all internal relays on this box here. So all your lights, everything is done from that switch panel. You don't need external switches, relays. Basically, battery goes straight in here, and then all the output straight from there. Lithium battery, which is gangster, so they're like 10 kilos. That's probably 100 um, amp hour lithium. Run everything. This is your manager 30, which is all your charging. It takes your alternator charge input, takes your solar input, so it has the DC DC, it has your solar uh, regulator, also two Vorti volt charging. So you can plug this into the wall at home if your canopy's off the car, charge your battery before you go camping, throw it on the car, and you're good to go 100%. Thousand watt inverter. <laughs> good, he's good. Are oh, we getting there? <laughs> yeah, just pop around in my store at redarc.com. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oi, I want one. Yeah. I want one. You're, you're selling. A right, thousand watt inverter is just that's good for 83 amps. That's, that's 240 uh, 12 volt. So you could run like you're in, um, your, your, yeah, your, yeah, thousand watt microwave. You could run your NutriBullet, your blender. You charge any camera gear you want, and that's basically it. It's this is like a real basic setup for this system. You could do so much more. The expansion ability is there with what you got. Yeah, like it's even got the plug ready for the solar panel on top. Yeah, just haven't got it sorted. Don't know where the 240 volt input is. It's plugged in, it's ready to go, but we can't find it. <laughs> so, if you're watching this, Mitzel, well, where's the hole? Where it goes? To? Well, I don't know. Maybe you've had too many wines. It's the know. caravan <laughs> output. <laughs> anyway, yeah, yeah, I know, I know what you're saying. It's like a reverse plug. Yeah, yeah we're, we're, it's like yeah. The, the male end. It's the, it's the male <laughs> it's end. The male which, end. He doesn't, oh, it probably is wide in, but this thing can show all your water levels and stuff as well. Um, so it can have everything. Also temp sensors, it can tell you the temperature of your fridge and it's all Bluetooth. So from your phone, sitting in your camp chair, you can turn all your lights off, check the how cold your beers are in your fridge, everything. That's how, how I set If up. when I put, get my ice maker. Oh, I can, you can actually set the dimensions of the ice bricks you want and everything. I, I, I don't run trays. You have no leg to stand on. No, but they are, like, this is freaking awesome. Like, <laughs> this yeah. thing is. It's ultimate, like, and you haven't even kitted it out. You, you've got so much room to put stuff. But the good thing, because it's jack off, right? <laughs> <It's> jack off, <laughs> You can still go forward driving without all the top heavy. So I'm actually very excited to well, you, you, um, get the whole canopy off and go drop forward driving with flat tray because I still want to drive a hard track with the boys because that's the most fun part of having this vehicle. So, Are you going to do Big Red? No. <laughs> Called out. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> what was it? Short, short and sweet. Fella, he had a nav. He drove big red today and snapped the tire up. Yeah. Rumor has it he's still there on the crossover. <laughs> yeah. Don't expect to go there and not break shit, is what I'm saying. Plan. Plan to break stuff. Still got to get to work, to earn the money, to pay for the parts, to build the cars. Yeah! <laughs> shed life! <laughs> shed life! Good get money. in the shed, boys. Q explosion now. Boof. <laughs> Tell yeah, us what. <laughs> so if they're gonna buy a mid like that. If you are interested in something like this, if it's something you've been looking at, or maybe you just want to have a look at some prices or get a price, a quote or something, just jump on to mitsalloy.com. You just put in your vehicle type and then you just start building basically. It also helps me and the channel if you tick TJ Jack on the website. 
because I'm officially affiliate with Mitts now. So if you want to if you want to support the channel and you're in the market anyway. So yeah, overall I'm super stoked, extremely excited to test it out properly. It's a little bit it's a little bit sway at the moment. I've got to fix the rear springs; they're not perfect yet. Okay. I don't know it's, it's still fine, but I, don't know, I think we can tweak it because it was so good. It was set up so good for what we were doing. Hey, like it was really test it. Just don't want to fucking just don't want it to roll over. Mm. <laughs> I wonder if the, uh, reckon the cage truck will keep up. Yeah, right. well, I don't know. Depends how you build it. You've got parts coming for this cage truck that's going to be amazing. But if you want to see more of this, obviously there's going to be a heap more content, including all this setup, so you guys can help decide if it's something you might want. You know? One thing I haven't done yet either is weigh it. So we're going to go find a weigh bridge somewhere and weigh it because I have no idea if I'm even close to GVM. It feels a bit heavy, but. We'll figure it out. Um, yeah, I think that's it. What? It's good. Cowbunga dudes. Thanks for filming, mate. That's cool. It's gone really dark and out yeah, of light. We might have to do this again. <laughs> yeah. We'll see. <laughs>